The fight against global warming will shape the 21st century. As forums for ideas to grow and research to flourish, universities have a huge role to play in the fight for our planet. This fight starts with committing to the President's Climate Initiative. What is the PCI? It started in the U.S. as the President's Climate Commitment in 2006 as a way to garner institutional commitments towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions and to increase the research and educational efforts aimed at restabilizing the Earth's climate. The commitment has attracted 613 signatories, including the presidents of the University of California, Berkeley, Duke University, and the University of Southern Mississippi. The commitment then came to Canada as the President's Climate Initiative. Different name, same concept. To date, the presidents of UBC and Simon Fraser have signed on. I know what you're thinking. The initiative's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo without results. Well, you're wrong. Through building highly efficient new buildings and by retrofitting old ones, UBC has prevented 6,000 tons of greenhouse gases from entering the atmosphere. And that's just one school. But it's not just about emissions. It's about leadership and self-identification. It's about showing the academic and political powers that your university is committed towards a better future. So, what's the state of the PCI at U of T? Simcoe Hall has been aware of the initiative since spring 2008. Yet, there has been no signature. If the largest post-secondary institution in the country signs on, it sends a message to political leaders that are failing to take action on the national stage. The big question is, will we do it?